Life on Venus? Astronomers see a signal in its clouds. The detection of a gas in the planet's atmosphere could turn scientists' gaze to a planet long overlooked in the search for extraterrestrial life. High in the toxic atmosphere of the planet Venus, astronomers on Earth have discovered signs of what might be life. If the discovery is confirmed by additional telescope observations and future space missions, it could turn the gaze of scientists toward one of the brightest objects in the night sky. Venus, named after the Roman goddess of beauty, roasts at temperatures of hundreds of degrees and is cloaked by clouds that contain droplets of corrosive sulfuric acid. Few have focused on the rocky planet as a habitat for something living. Welcome back to Tech Trends for All. Before we proceed, kindly subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated when we release new videos. Without further delay, let's dive in. Instead, for decades, scientists have sought signs of life elsewhere, usually peering outward to Mars and more recently at Europa, Enceladus, and other icy moons of the giant planets. The astronomers, who reported the finding on Monday in a pair of papers, have not collected specimens of Venusian microbes, nor have they snapped any pictures of them. But with powerful telescopes, they have detected a chemical, phosphane, in the thick Venus atmosphere. After much analysis, the scientists assert that something now alive is the only explanation for the chemical source. Some researchers question this hypothesis, and they suggest instead that the gas could result from unexplained atmospheric or geologic processes on a planet that remains mysterious. But the finding will also encourage some planetary scientists to ask whether humanity has overlooked a planet that may have once been more Earth-like than any other world in our solar system. This is an astonishing and out-of-the-blue finding, said Sarah Seeger, a planetary scientist at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology and an author of the papers, one published in Nature Astronomy and another submitted to the journal Astrobiology. It will definitely fuel more research into the possibilities for life in Venus's atmosphere. We know that it is an extraordinary discovery, said Clara Sousa Silva, a molecular astrophysicist at Harvard University whose research has focused on phosphine, and another of the authors. We may not know just how extraordinary without going back to Venus. Sarah Stewart Johnson, a planetary scientist and head of the Johnson Biosignatures Lab at Georgetown University, who is not involved in the work, said, There's been a lot of buzz about phosphine as a biosignature gas for exoplanets recently referring to the search for life on worlds that orbit other stars. How cool to find it on Venus. She added, Venus has been ignored by NASA for so long. It's really a shame. David Grinspoon of the Planetary Science Institute in Tucson, Ariz, who is not part of the work, but has long promoted the possibility of life in Venus clouds, said, That is pretty damn exciting. The work needs to be followed up, he said. But this can be the first observation we've made which reveals an alien biosphere. And, what do you know, it's on the closest planet to home in the entire cosmos. Jim Bridenstein, the administrator of NASA, responded to the finding on Twitter, saying, It's time to prioritize Venus. Venus is one of the most beautiful objects in Earth's sky, but at a closer glance, the less lovely it becomes. Often called Earth's twin, Venus is roughly the same mass as Earth. Many scientists think that Venus was once covered in water and possessed an atmosphere where life as we know it could have flourished. In earlier days of the solar system, Earth was not so hospitable to the likes of us. There was life here then, even an entire biosphere that did not survive in the oxygen-rich environment that later developed. And much as Earth over time became a home for jellyfish, ferns, dinosaurs, and homo sapiens, Venus was transformed by something into a hell. Today, the second planet from the Sun has an atmosphere stifled by carbon dioxide gas and surface temperatures that average more than 800 degrees Fahrenheit. The dense atmosphere of Venus exerts a pressure of more than 1,300 pounds per square inch on anything at the surface. That is more than 90 times the 14.7 pounds per square inch at sea level on Earth, or the equivalent to being 3,000 feet underwater in the ocean. It is hardly a place that makes visiting or research easy. Although that doesn't mean people had tried, space programs have tried dozens of robotic missions to Venus, many of them in the Soviet Union's Venera series. But the planet eats metal, within minutes melting down and crushing spacecraft that have landed there. Of all those attempts, only two managed to directly capture images of the planet's surface. Whereas frigid Mars is currently ringed by orbiters 
and prowled by NASA rovers. Venus is being studied by only one probe, the lonely Japanese spacecraft Akatsuki. Future missions to the planet are still mere concepts. Although the surface of Venus is like a blast furnace, a cloud layer just 31 miles below the top of its atmosphere may reach temperatures as low as 86 degrees Fahrenheit and has a pressure similar to that at ground level on Earth. Many planetary scientists, including Carl Sagan and Harold Morowitz, who proposed the idea 53 years ago, have hypothesized life may exist there. Jane Greaves, an astronomer at Cardiff University in Wales, set out in June 2017 to test that hypothesis using the James Clerk Maxwell Telescope in Hawaii, looking for signs of various molecules on Venus. Different species of molecules will absorb radio waves coming through the clouds at different characteristic wavelengths. One of the chemicals was phosphine. She did not expect to find it. I got intrigued by the idea of looking for phosphine, because phosphorus might be a bit of a sort of go-no-go -no -go for life. Dr. Greaves said, Chemists compare phosphine to a pyramid, one atom of phosphorus topping a base of three hydrogen atoms. The NASA spacecraft Cassini detected it in the atmospheres of Jupiter and Saturn. In that setting, Dr. Sousa Silva said, Life is not necessary to form phosphine. The immense heat and pressures can jam the phosphorus and hydrogen atoms together to form the molecule. But on smaller rocky planets like Earth and Venus, the researchers say there is not enough energy to produce copious amounts of phosphine in the same way. There is one thing, however, that appears to be very good at producing it, anaerobic life or microbial organisms that don't require or use oxygen. On such worlds, as far as we can tell, only life can make phosphine, Dr. Sousa Silva said. She has long studied the gas, on the theory that finding it being emitted from rocky planets that orbit distant stars could be proof that life exists elsewhere in the Milky Way. Here on Earth, phosphine is found in our intestines, in the feces of badgers and penguins, and in some deep-sea worms, as well as other biological environments associated with anaerobic organisms. It is also extremely poisonous. Militaries have employed it for chemical warfare, and it is used as a fumigant on farms. On the TV show Breaking Bad, the main character, Walter White, makes it to kill two rivals. But scientists have yet to explain how Earth microbes make it. There's not a lot of understanding of where it's coming from, how it forms, things like that, said Matthew Pasek, a geoscientist at the University of South Florida in Tampa. We've seen it associated with where microbes are at, but we have not seen a microbe do it, which is a subtle difference, but an important one. Dr. Sousa Silva was surprised when Dr. Greaves said that she had detected phosphine. That moment plays in my mind a lot because I took a few minutes to consider what was happening, she said. If there really was phosphine on Venus, she believed there could be no other obvious explanation than anaerobic life. That's all I have for you guys for today. If you liked watching this video, please make sure to click the like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the bell icon so that you may be notified when we upload a new video. Thanks for watching.